This is a disgraceful situation. This is an attorney general, Leticia, that went out and uh, campaigned on, I will get Trump. I will get Trump no matter what. I'll get Trump. I promise I'll get him. We have two tapes on her now that have come out since the trial because people took tapes of her because they couldn't believe her ranting and raving like a lunatic. But this is the Attorney General of New York State, Leticia James, and she shouldn't be allowed to be Attorney General. She's defrauded the public with this trial. She said that Mar-a-Lago, she convinced the judge that Mar-a-Lago was worth, in Palm Beach, Florida, the most expensive land in the world, I guess, and, that, and the most expensive houses, definitely, in the world, that Mar-a-Lago, the biggest house, the most spectacular place in all of Florida, was worth $18 million, when it's worth approximately, could be close to 100 times that amount. And based on that testimony, and based on her convincing the judge that Mar-a-Lago was worth $18 million, instead of a billion to a billion five, which would sell very easily, which we've already proven, but we'll have people come up and say that and prove it, the most important people, the brokers that make the sales. But based on that, he ruled against me. He ruled fraud. I mean, he said fraud. They are the fraudulent people. Because they ruled a house that was worth 18, they put down as worth 18 million, and it's worth maybe close to 100 times that amount. And based on that, they ruled against me having to do with fraud, which is a big statement. But they are the frauds. Because the house is worth a billion, a billion and a half, 750 million, it's worth a fortune most expensive house probably in the world, and they said it was worth $18 million. And they don't do anything about it. But based on that, and also Doral, they have Doral at a very low number, and it's worth many times the number that they put. So they chose to do this. So I just want to say the head of Deutsche Bank came in. He said we were great. The loan was great. Everything was fine. Uh, and it was Perfect. And this was their witness, wasn't even my witness. And we have other bankers coming in saying the same thing. We built a great company, got a lot of cash, got a lot of great assets, got some of the greatest real estate assets anywhere in the world. It's really been an honor to have built it, and we worked hard with my family. And my children are involved in this, and they should they don't deserve to be involved in this. This is a witch hunt by a radical lunatic attorney general that shouldn't be allowed to be an attorney general. She's horrible. And it's very unfair. We don't get a jury trial. There's no jury. And we don't have any jury. Somebody said we could have checked a box or something. We don't check a box. This is a statute that was never used before, never once used before for anything like this. I'm the first one. Isn't that, stru isn't that nice? And I should be in Iowa now. I should be in New Hampshire now. I should be in South Carolina now or someplace else campaigning. The good news is we're about 60 points up on everybody, and we're leading Biden by 11. And that's why they're doing this, because this is all coming out of Washington. Uh, the judge is going to make a decision. Now, the judge, I've got to respect the judge and like the judge. I like him, but it's not fair, because I don't know how he can make a fair decision on this. He's got all the Democrats pushing him left and right, pushing him around like a pinball. And it's a very unfair situation that they put me in. I want a jury. I'm entitled to a jury. But this is a case that should have never been brought. And just to conclude, they said I overvalued my financial statements. Well, actually, the financial statements are undervalued by tremendous amounts of money. They're very conservative. They're undervalued. The actual worth is much more than that. So therefore, there's no fraud. They don't mention that there's a disclaimer clause. There's a big disclaimer which it says, basically, do your own due diligence. Don't even rely on the financial statements. Again, the financial statements are the actual statement is very much less than the actual worth. The actual worth is higher. So therefore, it's very conservative. And that's what the banks got. And therefore, there's no fraud. Then there's no fraud because there's a disclaimer clause at the beginning and all throughout the financial statements.